Yes, sir. So numericals I will do before that. See, just formula I'm writing so that you can recollect topic. For single spherical for single spherical surface mu2 minus mu1 upon r equals to mu2 upon b minus mu1 upon u lens makers formula is 1 upon f equals to mu of glass with respect to air minus 1 any other medium then this will change 1 upon r1 minus 1 upon r2 so for critical angle the refractive index of tensor with respect to rarer is 1 upon sin c for prism a equals to r1 plus r2 a plus delta equals to i plus e then delta equals to minimum then a by 2 equals to r a plus delta m upon 2 equals to i let's copy this formula By prism formula mu equals to sign of a plus delta n upon 2 sign of a by 2. C 
sense for kin reason delta equals to a mu minus This question form of D equals to delta B minus delta R or D equals to A mu B minus mu R. Discursive power omega equals to angular dispersion upon mean deviation. to delta V minus delta R upon delta V plus delta R upon Q. That is same of delta V minus delta R upon delta yellow one. Or mu V minus mu R upon mu V plus mu R by 2. It is same as mu v minus mu r upon mu y. Yes, completed formula till this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Power of lens equals to one upon F measured in meter. Resultant power of combination of lenses is P equals to P1 plus P2 up to P1. So 1 upon F equal to 1 upon F1 plus 1 upon F2 up to Fn. For two lengths separated by distance D, 
1 upon f is 1 upon f1 plus 1 upon f2 minus b f1 f2. Or lens one upon F is one upon B minus one upon B. Yes, return again. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Linear magnification. Small n is height of image upon height of object. It is minus B upon magnifying power or angular magnification. N dot equals to beta upon alpha or simple microscope magnifying power equals to B upon Image is at distance of distant vision, magnifying power equal to one upon D plus F. Image is at infinity. Magnifying power is just D by F. Or compound microscope magnifying power equals to 
product of linear magnification into magnifying power of eyepiece. Okay. Image is at GDB magnifying power is V naught upon V naught plus into one plus V by a Okay. Image is at infinity magnifying power V naught upon V naught. Into D by N. Then of Compound microscope one of L equals to B naught plus B P. is at infinity when any place will be not plus f Peter? Hello, completed? Yes, sir. Done, sir. Uh, one more, huh? Seventeen. Or telescope magnifying power equals to F4 upon FP. Length of telescope F4 plus F. Except mirror, rest all formula have given because mirror part we have not yet done. Completed, no? Yes, sir. Just two minutes go through all the formula so that we can start with numericals. Two minutes go through that, invest some time, two, three minutes. Later. So we will start now. First numerical. Calculate the speed 
of light in a medium calculate speed of light in a medium for so critical angle is 30 degree calculate speed of light in medium i am writing vm we have to calculate i critical is 30 degree refractive index of denser medium with respect to rarer medium is 1 upon sine of critical angle are you remembering this we have proved so refractive index of medium with respect to air is 1 upon sine of critical angle Refractive index in velocity is VA upon V medium. Refractive index of second medium with respect to first is also V1 upon V2. It is also lambda 1 upon lambda. So it is VA upon V medium 1 upon sine of critical angle. See velocity of air, it may not be given, but we have to remember. 3 into 10 raised to 8 is velocity of light in air upon V medium. Sine of critical angle is sine 30. Okay, just copy till this. Then I'm clearing the space for doing further calculation. Very important. Some fixed numerical to be asked in every college for two marks. Once you complete, please tell. Done, sir. Okay. Yes, everybody has done? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, V of medium will be V into 10 raised to 8 into sine 30. Sine 30. 30 is 1 upon 2. So it is 1.5 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second. Copy. Answer. One, two, in lenses of 
power plus six diopter and minus two diopter are in contact. What is the focal length of combination? Two powers are given, focal length of combination, that means resultant they want. So first power P1, second power P2, focal length they want. First power is plus six diopter, minus two diopter, find focal length. To get focal length, we want power. So resultant power is P1 plus P2. That means one upon focal length, it's 6 plus of minus 2. So 1 upon F, 6 minus 2 is 4. From this we can say F equal to 1 upon 4 in meter. That is F equals to 100 upon 0 0.25. Uh, or 100 upon 4 I wrote centimeter. That will become 25 centimeters. 0 0.25 is also correct. Right. Power 6 minus 2. So resultant is 4. Therefore, F is 1 by 4. 1 by 4 meter is 100 upon 4 centimeter. Therefore, F equal to 25 centimeter. Calculate the radius of curvature of an it we concave lens of refractive index 1.5 when it is kept in a medium of refractive index 1.4 to have a power of minus 5 diopter. Calculate radius of curvature of an equiconcave lens of refractive index 
when it is kept in medium of 1.4 it is not kept in air it is kept in another medium of 1.4 to have power of minus 5 diopter write the question completed then say Yes, copy it full. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Calculate radius of curvature of by concave lens. So radius of curvature means R1, which is same as R2, which is same as suppose R we have to calculate because it is by concave by means two and when it is given by then it means it is equi equi means same radius wala so equi concave lens same radius wala concave lens has refractive index 1.5 and that of another medium is 1.4 to have power of minus 5 diopter. Now see, because we want R and mu is given, so in our formula, this is mu of lens and this is medium in which it is placed. So I will write this as 2 and medium is that first one where it is placed. So by lens Makers formula. Wait one minute. I understand what I'm going to do now. Convention one upon f mu of lens that is second medium with respect to first in which it is kept. So it is not glass with respect to air, it is lens with respect to second medium. I wrote minus one into one upon r1 minus one upon r2. This is by concave lens. Can you tell where is R1 ka center? Left side or right side? Left. Left, left side. side. Left means by convention, you will take negative. Yes, sir. Okay. So this is mu2 upon mu1 minus 1 by convention. R1 is equal to R, correct? Yes, sir. Plus or minus? Minus. Minus. And R2 is also R plus or minus? Plus because its center is on the right hand side. No? This R2, its center will be right hand side. Correct now? Yes, sir. For this yes, curve. Sir. So 1 upon F will be mu2 minus mu1 upon mu1 into minus you can bring here outside 1 upon r this 2 minus i bring out brought outside plus 1 upon r see very important because convention comes then you have to be careful everybody has followed convention well apart r1 is minus and r2 is plus yes sir yes sir okay just copy till this if it is given lens is placed in air then it will just come mu2 no need of this one Copy it in this.
when you complete please guide me answer one upon f can i write it is power yes sir okay, so power equal to minus mu 2 minus mu 1 upon mu 1 into 2 by r now all quantities are given except r so i'm substituting the value pratik sanskar Vaishnavi, those who have joined late, you are able to understand properly. Neil? Neil, you are there? Yes, sir. Okay, see now the sum. What is power given? Minus 5. Okay. Mu 2 is how much? Is it 1.5? Mu1 yes, 1.4 1, upon 1.4 into 2 by R. So minus 5 equals to minus of 0. 0.1 upon 1. 1.4 into 2 by R. Both side minus you can cancel. So 5 equals to 1 upon 14 into 2 by R. 2 into 7. Hello. Yes, sir. Now R I have to calculate. Okay, please copy till this. Twenty by seven in centimeter, which I'm uh, dividing by seven. Seven into two is fourteen. Remainder six will become sixty. Seven eights are fifty-six. Remainder four zero. Seven sevens are forty-nine. Remainder one zero. Seven into one is seven. This many centimeters. Seven into eight fifty six. Remainder four seven into uh, seven into six. You can write approximately forty two point eight six.
dan sum. Next one, very beautiful sum. This was sum number fourth, na? Third. And equilateral glass prism has a refractive index one point six in air. Calculate. The angle of minimum deviation. Calculate angle of minimum deviation of the prism when kept. in a medium of refractive index for root 2 upon 5. Equilateral glass prism has refractive index 1.6 in air. Calculate angle of minimum deviation when kept in a medium of refractive index for root 2 upon 5. Yes, written full. Yes, yes sir. sir. See, when we say prism formula, we presume that it is kept in air. So we write mu equals to sin of a plus delta m upon 2 divided by sin a by 2. Here we assume that it is kept in air. If it is not kept in air, then it will become mu 2 upon mu 1. So this please don't forget. Now I am writing data. What is meaning of equilateral triangle, equilateral prism? Angle of prism A is 60 degree, correct? Yes, sir. Its refractive index mu2 is 1.6. Find angle of minimum deviation means delta m. If it is not in air but medium of refractive index 4 root 2 upon 5. I hope data part you followed. Yes, sir. So by prism formula. By prism formula, refractive index of the prism with respect to the medium given, that is mu21 equals to sine of A plus delta M upon 2 divided by sine A by 2. So mu2 upon mu1 is sine of A plus delta m upon 2 divided by sine a by 2 1.6 upon 4 root 2 divided by 5 so it is into 5 in numerator equal to sine of 60 plus delta m upon 2 divided by sine 60 by 2 1.6 into 5 is 8. So 8 upon 4 root 2 is sine of 60 plus delta m upon 2 divided by sine 30. This is 4 into 2 is 8. So 2 by root 2 into sine 30 is half. Yes. Sir. So I wrote sine 30 here half on the left hand side. 
60 plus delta m upon 2. So 2 cancel. Please copy till there. Yes. We four root two. Ha, so I cancelled na four two is eight. No. Ha. There is a calculation error. Where, beta? Sir, the half should come above. The two should come on the numerator because it's in denominator. No, no. See, sine thirty goes that side, na. So it is two into sine thirty, and sine thirty is half. Okay. The same side when it goes in the numerator, then it will become Uta. Na? We did cross yeah. multiplication no? like this. Yes. So we got one upon root. 2 equals to sine of 60 plus delta m upon 2. Everybody has copied till last line? Yes, sir. Then sine when comes on other side, we write that mathematically as sine inverse. So sine inverse of 1 by root 2 is 60 plus delta m upon 2. Can you tell what is sine inverse 1 by root 2? 45. Very good. So 45 equals to 60 plus delta m upon 2. That means 90 equals to 60 plus delta m. So can I say delta m is 90 minus 60, which is 30 degree? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Please solve till end.
dança. Next one. Velocity of light in glass is 2 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second and in air is 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second. A ray of light passes from glass to air. Calculate the value of critical angle. Velocity of light in glass 2 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second in air 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second calculate critical angle so i suffix c average the value of sine c is sine inverse is sine inverse 2 by 3 Yes, correct. Have you written till this? Yes, sir. Now see. Refractive index of denser with respect to rarer is 1 upon sine of critical angle. Denser means glass, rarer means air is 1 upon sine of critical angle. So this is velocity in air upon velocity in glass equals to 1 upon sine of critical angle. Refractive index of denser with respect to rarer is equals to 1 upon sine C. So denser is glass and rarer is air. And this is written as V upon Vg 1 upon sine of critical angle. So sine of critical angle will be Vg upon Va. Okay, please copy till this. So you always remember sign value has to be less than 1. So numerator should be smaller than denominator. So that by chance there is some error in taking cross multiplication or you have taken reciprocal. Then sign value cannot increase 1.
sine of critical angle 2 into 10 raised to 8, 3 into 10 raised to 8, this will get cancelled. So critical angle is sine inverse of 2 by 3, which is sine inverse of 0 0.6667. When you see logbook, it will come nearly 41.3 degrees. You can leave the answer as sine inverse 2 by 3. And if we convex lens of opal length f is cut into two identical plane convex lens how will the power of each power be related to the focal length of the original lens. Partly theoretical it is. Sir, I think there won't be any change. Let us see. You are saying it may be correct. This is if we convex lens, okay? Yes, sir. Who is responsible for power? Focal lens. Focal lens. Focal lens. Focal. This is equi means its radius of curvature on both sides is same? Yes, sir. This we are cutting into two identical plano convex lens. That means this way one lens and this is another correct yes sir now this is r but this is infinity na? because plane ka radius is infinity yes sir so now can i say it won't remain same because second surface ka r has changed yes, yes sir. sir it will change so can i say if F1 is F, okay, well, it's not a diagram, please draw the diagram.
yes completed na huh? yes so first case 1 upon f1 will be mu minus 1 into 1 upon r minus of 1 upon minus r that will become 1 upon f1 is mu minus 1 into 1 upon r plus 1 upon r that is 1 upon f1 mu minus 1 into 2 by r clear na first point yes sir yes sir and this you can say it is nothing but power in first case is mu minus 1 Into two by r. This is power in first case. Then in second case, one upon f two will be mu minus one into one upon r minus one upon minus infinity. One upon infinity is zero. So it will Sir, be. Sir, why infinity? Uh, for plane surface, what is radius? Ha uh ha. -huh, yeah. Second. So now I can say p one. Upon p two, mu one minus one will get cancelled. This is two by r into r by one. So new power will become first power upon two. Okay. Yes. Sir. Yes, sir. Very important sum for plane surface. Radius is infinite. Next sentence. A convex lens of focal length twenty five centimeter. Convex lens of focal length twenty five centimeter is placed coaxially in contact with a concave lens of focal length. Twenty centimeter. Determine power of 
combination. Then the system is converging or diverging in nature. See if I get final power positive, then converging, negative, then diverging. Because then it will behave like concave, converging, then convex. Write the question. That's right. Focal length of convex lens F1 is plus 25 centimeter and concave is minus 20. Determine power of the combination and nature. Power P is P1 plus P2. So this is 1 upon F1 plus 1 upon F2. Both should be in meter. So it is nothing but 1 upon 25 by 100 plus minus of 1 upon 20 by 100. This is... Uh, 25 into 4, 20 into 5. So I'm taking reciprocal. Power will become 4 minus 5, which is minus 1 diopter. Therefore, nature of combination will be diverging. Correct, ma? Nature of combination will be diverging. Thank you. 
कितने का लॉट है थर्टी टू ना ऊपर है कि कल से अच्छा तो फिर थर्टी पे रखना फिर थर्टी Completed full. Yes, sir. This is ninth, na? This is numerical number ninth, yes, sir. Or... Ah, uh, very important sum, tricky. Ray of light incident on an equilateral glass prism. Mu of glass is root three. Moves parallel to the base. Line of prism inside it. Find the angle of incidence for this ray. Just write this question, then we'll see. Can I clear now? Yes, sir. Only the punch line is parallel to the base line. See, first of all, it is equilateral prism. So A is given sixty degree. Mu is given root three. Find the angle of incidence for this. So if this is ray incident in such a way that it is parallel inside and then comes outside. So whenever this happens, then I is same as E. That means here angle of deviation is minimum. Hello. Yes. Sir. So since ray inside. is parallel to base therefore i is same as e therefore delta equals to delta m and for minimum deviation we know that prism formula is sin of a plus delta m upon 2 divided by sin a by 2 Now a plus delta m by two is nothing but i only or not? Like sine i upon sine r. Hello? Yes, sir. So this is sine i only actually upon sine a by two. So okay, please copy till this.
Can I share this now? Yes, sir. So we get sine i equals to mu into sine a by 2. This is root 3 into sine 60 by 2. That is root 3 into sine 30. That is root 3 into half root 3 by 2. So i equals to sine inverse of root 3 by 2. Which angle sine is root 3 by 2? 60 degrees. Yes. So i is 60 degrees. So only the key point was here. Ray is parallel. Then remember it is angle of minimum deviation. So. so today we stop here.